Hey what's guys, Pruitt here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today we're back on Clash Royale, we are going to be using this deck right here today. I did actually get it from a guy from TV Royale. So we'll just double check who it was actually from, let's have a quick check. This guy right here, the shout out to this individual. This is their deck at the moment, this is the one I originally copied, but the one on TV Royale actually had the Electro Spirit inside of it. So I thought I'd give that a try. I've kept the login because I'd prefer to use the log over the snowball. But yeah, we'll try this first, and then if this doesn't work out, we'll just go to the Ice Spirit, which will of course be matching the TV Royale version. Alright guys, here we go, game number one. So this guy's name is MK is Best one so I assume he's referring to Mega Knight. <laughs> I'm sure there's other things that could be known as MK, but we'll just assume he's referring to the Mega Knight in terms of the game. So anyway... Princess at the back, we did get a little bit of Goblin Barrel damage. He is actually like level 1 for some reason, aka level 11, but yeah. So we'll go over here with the Valkyrie, not really the most optimal deployment, I admit, but it's fine. Because we do have the level advantage like I just mentioned. I believe both his cards were actually maxed, and he does have a max level mirror as well, so... Yeah, he's not really, it's not like card levels are a problem for him. But either way, we're looking pretty good right now. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll send out the barrel again. And this one is looking pretty good so far. So we do see the wizard from the opponent. Not really anything out of the ordinary there. But yeah, like we'll, we'll do. We'll just keep playing like carefully. I don't even know how it's going to save them. So, wow, he's actually got the expo. We'll just go ahead and like stun everything right here. The reason for the electro spirit was to of course halt the wizard temporarily. Allowing the rocket to hit everything. And that was actually quite a good defense. I'll take that. I will take that. So, I don't know. We're looking pretty good. My game is pretty, like, glitchy at the minute. I don't really know why. Like, it just randomly starts going really slow. I think it's an internet problem. But <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen today. Because it'll be quite sad if it does. But we'll just see how it goes. And we'll take it from there. So, we'll go Valkyrie up top. That should hopefully pull a lot of the goblins across. We will take a little bit of Spear Goblin damage, but nothing really too major. And the Valkyrie should hopefully be able to take the Bomber out. And then we have another good defense right here. We'll go Electro Spirit, why not? And then we probably need to save up for Rocket, actually. Because I do expect the Expert the Bridge one more time. We'll just have to see, though. Maybe not. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and log the Wizard right here. Just to basically get some free like tower damage. And then we do actually see the Expo, we'll just go with a very high Valkyrie, and then we'll follow up with a very high Goblin, uh, sorry, Tessa as well. The Electro Spirit is going to connect to everything right there. We'll just go ahead and log, Look, not really the greatest of logs I've ever deployed, but it's fine, it did what it needed to do. We do see the Wizard again, and now we do have Double Princesses down right here. We'll just try and go with the Wizard right here, sadly I did kind of mess the deployment up a little bit, but again it's fine. He's going to go with an Expo on defense, not really sure what the intention of that one is, because he's not winning, so <laughs> yeah, okay, it's all good. We'll go with the Log Spell right here, and then we'll just go Valkyrie into everything as well. Perfect, he's going to Rage, it's not really going to do a lot, and now the Rocket's down to, sorry, the Tower's almost down to Rocket Range right there. So this one's looking really, really good, hopefully we can just get the additional damage we need, and there we go, that's going to be the game. So game number one was actually very successful. We ended up picking up a win. We did have a level advantage in terms of like King Tower, but the card levels were pretty much the same. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were the same. So yeah, good stuff. Let's jump into another one. All right, guys, here we go. Game number two right now. Let's see if we can hopefully keep this winning streak going. So this guy is actually in an eSports clan. So hopefully we don't lose. And let's see how we do. So we'll go Goblin Gang at the start just to get the game rolling basically because as you know if you've seen my videos before I don't really like to sit around waiting when we could be playing the game so we'll go with a prediction log right here we managed to actually hit the lumberjack and then we'll go with an electro spirit quite high up and hopefully that should be okay so we do see the balloon from the opponent and this isn't looking good <laughs> okay we'll go in the rocket he thinks he took the tower right there rocket saved us a lot actually Without the rocket, we probably would have lost the tower, to be honest. But fortunately for us, we did have it in cycle. And we're not really down too much. I guess we're down a little bit. But again, it's the start of the game. It's looking pretty good. So hopefully we can turn this one around. So the guy goes Valkyrie at the back. We'll just go with our own Valkyrie right here. Just in front of the arena tower. I probably could have deployed it in like the back corner over here. But 
I don't know, I didn't. And he's actually got Pekka as well. So I have no idea what we're facing, it's a pretty interesting deck. And now we will just go in with the Tessa of our own. Oh, sorry, yeah, the Tessa. Did I just call the Pekka the Tessa? If I did, I meant the Pekka. And hopefully we can take the Valkyrie out without too much damage. Okay, that's fine, it only got one shot. And again, we meet the Wizard. So the Wizard is going to be a pain because, yeah, he's just annoying. And then what we'll do is we'll go with the Goblin Gang for the Lumberjack. And then we'll Valkyrie the Wizard. In fact, I'm going to try and rock it and we should be able to hit everything. We do take a little bit of damage again, just because like the type of deck this guy is using. We're pretty much guaranteed to take damage every time, I think. Just because of the cards he's got, like the Valkyrie. He's pretty much always guaranteed a shot. Same with the Wizard, to be honest. Same with the Balloon, in fact. And yeah, he can just stack those cards up all together. And it actually makes it a little bit difficult. Not because of, like, skill or anything, just because of the cards we're facing. In my opinion, anyway, so... We'll try and turn this one around. Hopefully we can still win. What we'll do is we'll constantly keep around 6 Elixir. And that'll give us the opportunity to pretty much go with the... The rocket when we do need it. So we'll go over here with the Valkyrie. I should have probably saved that for the Wizard. We do in fact see the Valkyrie on the enemy side. On the other side, sorry. And then he does have Log. We'll go Goblin Barrel one or two towers behind. Hopefully it's out of range of the Wizard. He does actually miss the Log spell right there. And we do get a good amount of damage from that. So we'll just go ahead and Log spell the Wizard right here. Perfect. We'll go with a Tesla in the middle as well. As well as a Goblin Gang to just try and like save the Tesla's HP right there. And this one is looking pretty good. So in fact he does actually use the Tornado. We'll go ahead and go Princess over here on the left on the right hand side, as I go with a Valkyrie on the left to the Valkyrie on the left. However, if you actually paid attention to detail, you would see that he went in with the Log Spell. So we'll go Golden Barrel of our own. And then we'll just cycle the Electro Spirit. Again, this is where it kind of gets a little bit sketchy. I've just turned into a spectator apparently. And now we do see the balloon. We'll just go ahead and rocket the balloon. We're not going to take any chances at all. The wizard did actually get a good amount of tower damage right there. So that, this isn't great. I've got a feeling this guy's going to like rocket or something. So... <laughs> so yeah, this is... I don't know. I've just got a really bad feeling about this game. I just really do. But either way, we'll still try and win. It's not over yet. It's not over yet until the end screen appears. So we'll go in with this. We will just go ahead and... Oh my, did I miss? Nope. The wizard almost locked onto the arena tower. For a I thought he locked onto the tower for a moment. So, we'll just go... Oh my word, what is he doing? Alright, we'll just get everything down right now. And then he's already back to the test, the balloon in fact. But this time we will hope the Tesla can take it out. No death damage. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're just going to try the trick. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully he doesn't have sound or hopefully he doesn't see it. And we actually managed to do it. And we... Pull the trick off right there, and that's going to be the win. So, it worked. He, it actually worked. Do you remember what he did? Let's return the favor. So, well, not the favor, but yeah, we won. <laughs> so, hopefully this game is a lot better than the second game. The second game was quite painful, in my opinion. But, either way, we got the outcome we were looking for. And now, we are facing the Skeleton Barrel. So, this card's very fun to play against. I was being sarcastic if you didn't realize. And now we will hope the princess takes out the fire spirit. And she actually did. So that worked out okay. That could have been a lot worse. And now the princess is actually going to shoot the... Oh my word. The bat is actually going to hit the princess once. And now hopefully she... he doesn't have zap or anything. So I don't know. We do see the bomber. We will just go ahead and... Oh, I don't even know. I guess we'll log spell. Hopefully I don't log it forwards. Oh my day. Oh wow. Okay, good. I nearly messed that up. <laughs> like, my plays at the minute are so bad. I... Oh, my word. Yeah, point proven. Okay, point proven. Alright, so the princess helps us out a little bit right there. We will just go ahead and use the Valkyrie at the bridge to try and, like, block anything he does have. Hopefully, he doesn't have, like, wizard or something. And there we go. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So, he's got the Mega Knight. That makes it pretty challenging for us. And now we will just... Oh my word. Okay. I guess I'll just go Tesla. We will take a little bit of damage on the left. But not really a lot I could have done to be honest. Because my only like non-splash card 
is in fact the well troop is in fact the valkyrie so i don't know <laughs> it didn't really go as planned so he's probably gonna go bomber on the right to the side okay never mind never mind i did expect him to go with like a bomber and if he did we wouldn't have really got any damage from it so we'll try and get the electro spirit down hopefully we can prevent as much damage as possible this time i'm not going to go with the valkyrie because we know he does have the mega knight we do now know anyway <laughs> and we do see the bomber and now we do see the goblin guy i don't know why i said that pretty weird but i did so valkyrie should do okay hopefully she can take out the prince perfect the prince to get eliminated right there we'll get oh my word what is he doing okay uh oh uh oh please jump please jump please jump okay good 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 we'll go ahead and log the left when ready did I do it too early? Nope, perfect. And yeah, this one's looking okay. So he does actually have the mirror. I did kind of forget. And now we'll just try and get back to Electro Spirit. Come on, spawn, spawn, spawn. Okay, good. Oh, the princess. The perfect timing from the princess right there. Saving us again. I feel like this deck is one of those decks where you can like get bailed out a lot for having really bad plays. But I don't know. Okay, that was a terrible Valkyrie. I've lost. The game's over, guys. The game is over. Oh my, I'm actually trolling. We'll log the bomber back. Oh my word. Okay. We'll just go ahead and... Tesla, I guess? <laughs> this isn't really going well. This has gone horribly wrong. So, we'll go Goblin Barrel. We do see the Prince again. Which is expected. We do see the Fire Spirits. It looks like he keeps using Fire Spirits to try and counter everything. Which is pretty good for us because it doesn't really counter them that well. Compared to some of the other units that we could potentially face. The skeleton barrel survives. Oh my word, I've lost. Yeah. Okay, I played so bad right there, but... I don't know. I don't know, I could have done a lot better, but... I just didn't for some reason, so... I don't know. I literally don't know what to say, but... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I think I'd probably use the ice spirit over the electro spirit, so feel free to replace it. That's what the guy was using anyway. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.